why he matters. Well, he completely transformed our understanding of space, of time, of matter, of energy, of gravity. So he influenced just about everything in the world around us. A radically new perspective on the nature of reality. Oh, yes. You're Albert Einstein. Thank you. What's his name? Albert Einstein. Einstein, everyone. This is it, the thing that'll put us Einsteins into the history books. Could I explain something to you? Certainly. What? The theory of relativity. Einstein is synonymous now with intelligence and with genius. His equation, E equals MC squared, is one that everybody knows. After all, how many of us can recite the Pythagorean theorem or Boyle's gas law? I can't. And that was kind of comforting. We're in an age where science is relied upon and celebrated, but also maligned and ignored all at the same time. Almost these two states of being that exist, And if, if, if you catch my meaning. We have scientists who are celebrated for sure. Mention Stephen Hawking. We have folks at Columbia, your university, who get on TV a lot, and that's a good thing. Bill Nye, the science guy. Are we at a point where we're valuing science, or is it a caricature? At other times, we argue about this, that it's ignored for political or religious reasons. Science is a dramatic story of adventure, and it's up to us scientists and journalists as well to allow the public to experience the wonder of discovery, which is not something that many people do experience. So I would say that I'm hoping that 100 years from now, we'll look at scientists, the great ones, the way we look at the great baseball players of today. They will be the cultural heroes. And when that happens, I think we will, as a society, go to a radically different place.